Let me rig up. Swing it back in again. So we're about 18 minutes in. Yet to catch anything. But I'm just going to carry on doing this now. I think for at least the next 20 minutes, half an hour. Unless something changes where I see a fish. You know, a few fish in the edge. Or see some signs of some fish shallow. So I'm just going to keep, keep plodding along with this. And um, we'll have a catch up shortly. So we're going to have an update, it is 56 minutes in and I went, when we left you, I went across and literally straight after I left you I had my first bite um, and I caught a couple of fish and I was just thinking to myself, Paul, you silly boy, should have been doing this sooner um, rather than fishing in the edge and I caught a few on it and just when I thought, right, this could be okay I'm getting an odd sign, but I'm not really putting many fish in the net. So, sort of 41 minutes in, 42 minutes in, I've gone shallow on my uh, long line dibber rig, um, long line winter maggot rig, which is what we're going to go back on now. And straight away, I had a, had a few bites on it, caught a few shallow. Um, not millions of fish, quite small at the moment, but I am getting bites on it. And I've started feeding the edge a bit more aggressively. For the reason being, is the lad on peg 11, he is catching quite a few fish in the edge. Um, and as soon as I big potted it, the second time, I think the first time I big potted it, I see a little bit of mud come up, I think. So I big potted it again, another 200 mil. And about five minutes after I'd done that, I definitely see a fish bow wave out of my peg. So I've been throwing a little bit of ground bait, seeing if that sort of keeps them loitering around, but I'm not seeing millions of signs, to be honest. So I think um, I'm probably going to feed another 200 mil of ground bait there in a minute. But all of the time I'm getting by at shallow. Like I say, they're only little stockies at the moment. They're not um, some massive, great big F1s in here. I think I've had one of those at the moment one big f1 but i'm just working through my rig so i started off on me long line dibber rig um dibber rig my long line winter maggie rig my little freebie eight and i caught a few and i was missing an odd bite with the wind coming down so i had to go on my short line rig and straight away i caught a couple and i thought okay that's definitely going to be um that's definitely going to be better caught a couple on that and it, it just didn't feel as good so I had a quick go on the overshotted rig just as we started. Never had a sign. And to be honest, in all my matches that I fish here now, even when it's like this, I always seem to catch really well on this longer line winter Maggie rig. So when I started, I started with my 13 where my 13 joins me 11 and it's just a bit awkward with the banking behind me so I've come onto me 11 meter bit I just thought I'll, I'll have a you know five ten minutes here and see if it actually makes a difference to the fishing I'm still oh, that one's just popped off I'm still getting a few bites my rig's set at 17 inches at the moment so I'm getting Getting an off bite, but it's still quite early, you know, first hour. First hour doing it. it normally gets better. 
So at the moment, just going out, just sort of slapping my rig over once, trying to not move my flow and leave my back shot just above the water. So that way, if I get any signs, I can lift up and I'm straight onto me, onto my back shot. Definitely feel a bit rusty today, I haven't done it for a while, but we're getting some signs. So that's the main thing. At the moment I'm not feeding my short line, I'm not throwing maggots there, because it's about five foot, about five foot deep there. And with how many signs I'm getting shallow, I think if, if I did go on it, they're probably gonna be set off the bottom, so. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to break down on my five, just so I can feed a bit more. Ground bay in the edge. So yesterday, even though we were pleasure fishing, it was so noticeable. As soon as you fed a volume of ground bait, there was some carp that come in. So, so the lad on eleven. Definitely getting, you know, a lot better fish fishing in the edge. So, I've got a load of room today. I felt, you know, with the conditions, how much space we've got, we were always going to get some bites here shallow today, I think. So, in that edge, I can just feel like I can be, be nice and positive. Try and get a few fish to come in, but... Yeah, at the moment, I feel like, apart from sort of that first 10 or 15 minutes where we made a mistake, where we started, but if we was on 11 and started, you know, maybe that little bit further down the edge, it might have been, been the best place to start. But we're getting an odd bite, shallow. If a few of them big lads, you know, the bigger fish that are in here, the bigger F1s, start feeding, this would be definitely the easiest way to be able to catch a big wave. Getting signs, which is good. Just trying to, you know, keep me feeding to sort of that eight to 12 seconds, feeding twice. So feeding often enough, but not too often. Put that down. This is already baited up. Sometimes, more when you're proper carp fishing, they're on your bait so quickly, see? Probably drop me rig and look at how quick they're on that bait. Just shows that, you know, you've got to feed, feed the right amount to get them in your peg. So, carry on feeding, what's time now? Quarter past three hours or such, so we're three hours and 15 minutes into the match, see there? Few fish boiling a bit closer up the bank. The only worry is what I might have to do if, if I'm going to start doing this and I do hook an odd carp, I might have to change my hook length to maybe 0, 018 and a 14 because I've only got 0, 0, 016 and a 16 at the moment. Start looking an odd car. So again, slap me worm, get that stunned, drop me rig down. I'm not going to feed as much this time. Maybe 150 mil. If I have to feed 200 mil after every fish, I will do. Right, put that down there. Allow me rigging a bit slower this time because I definitely spooked one last time. So I dropped my rig right on it. <laughs> right, get my rig down. Try and wait for a bait box. But again, I might go in here, catch like three or four dead quick, and just when you think, right, you know, will you hook an odd carp? And just be careful of not giving up on your shallow line. You know when you hook one, you know when you're thinking to yourself, 
should have changed that hook length. And I was too keen. <laughs> so after this, we take our time, get this one in. Say so it's my F1 kit. Oh, you don't think. Just my 13 Jura slip in a short kit. If you're going to start hooking like eight, ten pound fish, it's a bit light. I'd rather be fishing probably um, 15 Jura slip in a short kit, sort of grey hydro. This is that's what why exactly what I was thinking. If I change to 018 and a 14, I'm fishing with a big worm. If I've got to feed that amount of bait to get them to come in, they're not going to be rig shy and hook shy. So it just gives us a better chance of not getting broke. Yes, peace out. Right, so take my hook out. 